Hello there. Hey, it's time to talk a little bit more about the, the magnificent hardware we have with M2 personal AI computer. You have seen uh, pictures of the of the design. We have original finished design on the on the device. Very nice uh, com complete design done by done by us. We have a touch area here, uh, which also we are capable to use that to build some interaction with the software over the over the time there with the software releases. We have uh, LEDs actually here, RGB LEDs. We have actually two rings of uh, LEDs. Uh, we call it so-called uh, inner ring and then an outer ring so that we can control those individually. Uh, use that for feedback of the touch interaction, but also create different kind of effects and breathing effect and so forth. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll come to those, those later. Uh, the size of the box uh, we had to increase from the from the original designs a little bit because we added some capability to it. Also, uh, we realized at, uh, during the development phase and in particular in the stress testing with the AI models, we realized that uh, uh, or, or estimated the, the the power consumption and the heat uh, the CPU generates it needs simply more air and space inside the inside the, the device so that we can effectively dissipate the, the heat load uh, out from the from the box. Uh, let's look on the inside. This is interesting. Um, so it's our custom PCBA uh, that we have designed together with uh, with uh, our design house partner. Um, what we have here and what we also added on the on the way uh, as we communicated in the in the forums there is that we we have two M.2 slots here so originally we had only one we added added one additional here uh, the SSD which is included in the developer community edition that will be pre-installed here so one terabyte SSD is coming coming with the device uh, it's based on Rockchip 3588 which is the SLC which is be below the heatsink here not exposing it right now here, but anyway, it's it's there. Uh, the heatsink is something that we have also done uh, uh, stress testing uh, uh, with different kind of models on there, and it seems that we will be increasing the heatsink a little bit. It doesn't change the layout of the PCB any anymore. No need to worry about that, but we'll just increase the heatsink a little bit more. Uh, the asset, the, the PCBA, the, the motherboard is our custom design. It's very neat. It's very uh, 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 like a clean design, let's say so, for an engineering eye. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Actually, this is a pre-production model, so there was a small mistake. You can probably see it even in the video. Uh, we had to do a jump wire here. It will not be in the final version. Another thing that we realized during the tests of this pre-production PCBA, we realized that we have an issue with the LED controls. So we improved that now quite greatly and we added four additional PVM controllers to be able to better control uh, the, uh, the full capability of the LEDs and also to protect them from, from overburning. So that's also one, one thing that we, we realized in this pre-production PCBA and thus we applied a, a, a small change to the, to the final, final PCBA. And not to forget, uh, we have the 40-pin GPIO here, so you can do all those kind of cool things that you can connect it to external devices in a way similar things that you can do with uh, Raspberry Pi, for example. Let's look up, look about the, the connectors as well here. So uh, as we communicated uh, earlier there in the forums, we, we did add uh, some more capability also on the connector side here. So what we have here from left to right, of, uh, we have a power button. Okay, next to it is a reset button if you need to do a reset for the device. We have an Ethernet port here. Uh, uh, USB-C power supply. Let's talk about the power supply separately in a, in a, in a second. Uh, then what we have here also interestingly is that we have a micro SD and we have a SIM card reader. Let's talk about that as well. Uh, then USB 3.1, uh, USB Type-C connector and then uh, uh, 
USB type A connectors two times, two times there. Now, about the SIM slot, so this is something that we are also experimenting here and we wanted to build this platform to be expandable and also future use. So um, what we are also thinking that what you could do in the community and what we are experimenting as well is, is for example here that we could equip uh, the secondary M2.2 slot with a feasible 4G, 5G modem. That would be kind of cool. Let's come to that later. It's not in the first release here, but this platform, as, as we communicated, we wanted to build in particular expandability, future use, sustainability for the platform that we can maximize the reuse of this design and get, get feedback and ex experience on that. So that's one of those important, important points there. And that's, that's why we have also inbuilt a SIM card reader there. About the power supply, so I think we earlier communicated also, and it's not in the specification either, that uh, that the sales box does not come with the power supply. That's a, that's a decision that we made on purpose, because we think that the world is full of this, and honestly, uh, we don't want to ship anything extra. Uh, that's unnecessary either. So the box is the gift box, the sales box itself comes with the device, and that's about it. Now, however, of course, we need to get it powered. So what we have built in here is the USB Type-C uh, power uh, uh, supply compatibility. It's compatible PD 3.0. Practically, it means that you can take pretty much any, let's say, laptop capable uh, power supply, existing one or, or get one from the local, local channels that you, you, you have there. We are talking about 45, 50 watts uh, budget that is needed for the full consumption within the product. I'm just having an example here, a regular one, uh, which which works very very nicely uh, there, and uh, and you can just put it in, and in few seconds it starts to boot up, and uh, there we go. It works with the regular PD 3.0 compatible power supply. We are also doing testing, uh, compatibility testing on our side on this. So we will be listing on our website and communicating in the channels at least a number of power supplies that we've tested working, something that is generally available for, for you there. I hope you enjoyed watching this, um, having a peek inside the, the inner guts also of the hardware. It's really cool. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Uh, and, and trusting on us delivering this great product to your hands. Let's get it truck.